Hello, I'm Llewellyn Falco, and today I'm going to talk about the inner workings of reporters. This is going to be a more technical side, really looking at how these things combine and work together. And if you're interested in extending or using your own, you might want to pay attention here. If you haven't already, I check out the intro and the theory of reporters, as it will give a lot more context to what we're going to talk about today. So first, it's important to be aware of how the reporter gets called. So when you call approvals.verify, that hello world is going to get serialized into the receive file. And then the path to that receive file and the path to the approves file, which might not exist at this point, are both going to be passed to the reporter. I'm going to talk about the three parts of the reporters that you will need to use to write your own. The basic I approval reporter, the sometimes reporter, which is aware of its environments and gets called sometimes but doesn't, and that allows for the composite reporter, which is where you get really rich reporting. Let's go look at some of the code. So like I said, the basic reporter is the I approval failure reporter. This only has one method, report, passes the approved and the received file. I'm going to show you an implementation of this with the file launcher reporter, which just has, takes the received file and tells the OS to start that file and it will launch in whatever the OS is configured for. So there you are with the basic reporter. If you want to get more complex, you can go to the iEnvironment Aware reporter. This extends it and adds one more interface is working in this environment. And this allows the reporter to say, I'm usable in some environments. For example, here in the diff reporter is working in this environment, simply checks if the diff program it was going to call exists on your system. Once you have this ability to have reporters which sometimes work and sometimes don't work, you can start to chain them together with the composite. And here's a basic composite reporter, the framework assert reporter. This will use MS test in unit or X unit. All three of these are individually I environmentally aware reporters, but of course you're not going to be running a test using all three of these frameworks. You'll be using one of them. So if you're using MS test, it will work. If not, it will fall through to the in unit, and if not, it will fall through again to X unit. You can see an example of this in the diff reporter. This is sort of messy, so let's go and take a look at it from a more conceptual point of view. Here's the diff reporter drawn out. The diff reporter is a composite of the tortoise diff reporter, which in and of itself is a composite reporter. It's a composite of the tortoise text reporter and the tortoise image reporter. So if you have tortoise diff on your system and it's a text, it will go here. If it's an image, it will go here. If you don't have it, it will fall through to the beyond compare reporter. If you don't have that, it will fall through again to the win merge reporter. If you don't have that, it will fall through again to the framework reporter, which, as we already saw, was a composite of these three reporters. And if you don't have any of that, it will fall through finally to the quiet reporter. This composition allows for a lot of richness in the thing. And if you decide to extend your own reporter, then you can easily composite it with the existing reporter so you have all the richness of the reporters that exist, plus whatever customization you want on your own. We'll talk about that a lot in the next episode. Finally, I'd like to highlight Pack. Pack is a guy out in Finland, and he contacted me actually on the Java side, complaining that I was doing a clipboard reporter all the time and it was messing up with his system. And as we started to work on that together, we actually ended up spending quite a few sessions pairing. We added a lot of good to approval tests, but by far the best thing that came out of our session was this concept of the environment aware reporter. And as soon as that happened, all this composition occurred and the reporter started to get a lot richer and a lot better. As always, if you have any questions, tweet them with the hash approval tests. I monitor that frequently and will answer you promptly.